What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new tactics video and today it's going to be the Metzala Magic Tactic. It scores a ton of goals per game and it's a really fun one to use. If you do enjoy the tactics on this channel, smash the like button. Let's try and hit 70 likes and please subscribe while you're there and turn on notifications. But let's go ahead into the testing phase of this tactic and see exactly what this is about. So we're going to switch things up today and we're going to talk about Juventus on the 98 database. That is right, we're going to do one test on the 98 database just to make these tactic videos a little bit less repetitive and use some different teams. And as you can see it was a ridiculous display over in Italy with Juventus not only winning the league but also winning the Champions League against Arsenal the league was nowhere of a challenge at all 93 points compared to Parma 84 obviously Parma had a sensational team back in the day we scored 135 league goals and only conceded 20 and going over some of the actual data I'll be able to have a very quick look as you can see 3.97 goals per game conceded at only 0.59 pass completion Quite decent as well. Obviously, this is going to be heavily sort of dominated in that midfield area. The Metzalas get involved really, really well in going forward and linking up the play, but also do a great job of maintaining the ball as well. So nearly 87% on the pass completion, which is really impressive to see. Going over to the squad, we are, this is going to be a, this is going to be a ton of fun to actually look into because the players we're going to have. We actually going to have Inzaghi coming in with 101 goals. Now this guy is absolutely incredible on this sort of match engine not match engine this sort of however you want to say it um honestly incredible i mean 20 finishing 19 acceleration 18 pace loads of 20s in there i mean he was a really good player but jesus christ what an absolute baller 31 coming in for del piero thierry Henry coming in with 22 21 for zinedine Zidane. and as you can see the goals are never really ending a sensational season and although you, not everyone's going to have an inzaghi if you're a player like an mbappe you're going to you're going to see a very very similar return because they are very you know i mean Inzaghi, what an absolute player in terms of the assists we're going to have 48 coming in from zidane edgar david's an absolute icon with 23 21 for del piero Thierry Henry with 20 20 for Inzaghi as well and didier deschamps obviously the current france manager coming in with 11 so what we are seeing is a nice mixture of positions getting the, all, all of the different types of assists from all different areas is basically what i'm trying to say and do you know what it's what i love to see with this metzala tactic it's my favorite role in the midfield Field. and having two and wingers is an absolute joy it dominates everything and it's a ton of fun to play with and talking of dominate and let's go over to the team stats so you can be expecting 2.74 points per game most goals at 135 which is a significant advantage over second place palmer most shots for at 928 fewer shots against at 216 most possession at 63 percent most clean sheets at 18 and fewest conceded at 20 so a very dominant season over in italy i don't think anybody can argue that and it was a ton of fun to actually test on a different database i'm mean, going to switch things over and we're going to go to Mirandes, who are predicted to finish practically rock bottom of the second tier of spanish football i have to include an underdog in these videos and this is a severe underdog and we have not made him look like an underdog though because we have come out and won the second tier of spanish football with 86 points over tenerife with 80 points in second place we didn't actually we did do quite well in the spanish cup the semi-finals against real madrid a little bit too much of a challenge for us but do you know what it is Real Madrid let's be realistic we scored 97 goals across the entire season conceded 38 so a little bit more but as I like to say we are predicted literally rock bottom so this is a great result overall and in terms of the data hub we are going to have a little look we are going to be seeing a lot less goals obviously with a team like this um, I'd like to say if you're one of the top teams you're looking at over four goals a game if you're like a top eight team over three goals easily and anything over under that sort of you know 2.3 2.5 so still a really good high scoring tactic 2.31 goals per game conceded at 0.9 and a pass completion very similar of 86.47 percent so a really good stat line coming out from this side again i rarely test with teams like this i don't like testing with just english teams in lower divisions it's nice to go abroad and use a bit of everyone you know and again if you guys have got any recommendations of teams you want me to test with get comment and right now because trust me i will use them and going over to the squad we are going to have a very quick look we're looking at 40 goals coming out from raul garcia look at the amount of players on loan at this team we're going to have Pieras coming in with 21 15 here 12 here 11 here 10 here 5 3 3 so again although it's not as many goals obviously what we're going to have with the likes of inzaghi zidane all of them key players we are still seeing one thing and that is that we can score a ton of goals and it comes from a variety of positions which is bang on what this tactic is all about and it's a really good thing to see and going over to the assist we're going to have 25 for roberto lopez then 15 13 10 10 6 6 and 6 triple 6 um do you know what 
absolutely incredible. It's good to see that with whatever standard of players we're using, we are still putting on the same sort of fundamentals in this tactic, which is to obviously have loads of assists coming in from all over the shop. Mainly the Metzala upward is what would be my main aim. And the goals are obviously going in by a variety of players as well, which is really good to see. And going over to the actual team stats, we're going to have the most points per game sitting at over two, most goals at 97, most shots four at 784, most possession as well, which is great to see at 57%. And that is going to be it. Two teams, actually, did we tie? We didn't tie on this one. But you know what? The ones which really are important, obviously, the goal scoring. This is a goal scoring tactic. And also a little bit of possession, which no one can... Everyone loves possession. Let's be real. Everyone, lo everyone loves to have the ball. So do you know what? A great second test with a very challenging team. I'm going to watch from the league games what was a 7-0 win. A very convincing win. So you can see exactly how these goals do get created. Rao absolutely putting on a masterclass here. That's a beautiful bit of play, obviously, to, to even get to that chance. But the finish was even more sweeter. A set piece comes in here from Lopez. A ball directly into the box. Into Mitchell's. Into the top left-hand corner. A great ball from Lopez. And a great header to match that. Playing up from the back now. Mitchell's. Building up very slowly into Liberos. A ball over the top, back into Raul. Great first touch and a beautiful finish into the bottom left corner. One thing which I love to talk about right now is the fact of this tactic is about short passing. But when there is an option to go long, a little bit more direct, you are going to see that, as you've just seen there. And that's what makes it so such a high-scoring tactic because we're not afraid to go longer when we need to. As you're going to see here, we find Lopez out on the side, back into Raul. A bit lucky to get that deflection, but it is going to be Liberos at the far post to tuck it in and we're going to take it at the end of the day as long as the goal goes in I'm not fast how it happens. It's going to be Gel Bart. I believe is how you say that. Building up here into Liberes, who goes out wide, cuts it back into Rao. Unselfish. You see how dangerous and how quickly we transition from the back to midfield, out wide, bang, into the centre, which means a goal. Absolutely incredible. It's going to happen again here, I believe. It is going to be Sands, who puts a first time ball in, almost Trent like, into Rao. And that is going to be another goal for this game. And at this point, if I was the. I mean, what's the point in even being here? They should have went home. It's an absolute thump. And as we build up again through the midfield, a great run coming into Joffrey. Who, is he going to square it? He isn't. A little bit selfish, but I respect it. He had the confidence and he tucks the chance away against a keeper who obviously did not have a great day at the office. And it was a game which we absolutely dominated 7-0, 5-0 at half time, 62% possession, a dominant amount of shots. And it really was a great display. I mean, they go over to PSG and this was a really fun sort of test because this is obviously testing with an elite team of today. We tested with an elite team of the previous and the results were absolutely incredible. We won the treble being the French League, the French Cup and the Trophy de Champion. Unfortunately, we a little bit short in the Champions League, but it doesn't really matter because we won it with Juventus. We can't be too greedy. However, the league table is looking very much in our favour, sitting at 107 points with 83 from Lens in second place. So no real competition. 166. Seven league goals scored, actually over 200 across the entire season. Conceded only at 24. Discipline also really good, picking up zero red cards. And going into actually some of the team stats, we are going to have a very quick look. Most points per game sitting at 2.82. Most goals at 167. Most shots at 940. Fewer shots against at 194. Most possession at 60%. Fewest conceded at 24. And the most clean sheets at 21. An utter masterpiece of a tactic with three fantastic teams well two very good teams and one very average team towards the bottom end of the table which gives me full confidence in saying that this tactic will work with pretty much anyone obviously the better players equals the more goals but it's always good to get a nice mixture in there and if you guys have got any teams you want to see me test on the 98 database maybe a team that you love back in the day please get commenting because i love to get you guys involved but let's go over and break down this tactic I do want to quickly say before we break down the tactic if you are enjoying today's video please do leave a like and unsubscribe if you do enjoy my content there's tons of content coming out next week including at least three tactics and trust me they're ones i've been working on for a while and i'm sure you guys are gonna love them but let's go ahead and break down this metzala magic so this is going to be the Metzala Magic 4-3-3 tactic. Sort of rhymes, I'll take it. Um, now this tactic obviously does come in three variants. And as always, I want to quickly thank those who are now coming down the screen, the current or previous members of the Patreon. Basically, the Patreon is a fantastic way to support your favorite creators. I personally have a tier which gives you access to download all three of the tactics. Now, you're not forced to do this because I do go over all three of them. But if you do want to join it, you can. The link is in the description. But let's go ahead and talk tactics. So the Metzala Magic um, tactic, sorry, not roll, is 
is basically a tactic based around a normal 4-3-3, but with the idea of introducing as many Metzalas into a system that is not too overkill, but gets the job done. And this is what we've come up with, and it works really, really well. Now, I want to quickly put on the screen right now some of the actual Data Hub stats we got from the PSG season, coming in at 4.39 goals, which is just absolutely mind-blowing, 0.63 conceded, and a pass completion of 86%. Now, we're noticing this pass completion is always around that figure, which is quite good, to be honest, because this is not traditionally you know, short pass and tiki taka. It is based around that, but it also, it's also got that more direct approach as well. So that is quite a good pass completion stat. Going over to the mentality, it's going to be set to positive. In possession, you want fairly wide, pass into space, play out of defense, shorter passing directness, a higher tempo, be more expressive with whipped crosses. Obviously, the pass into space being the key of why you do see them long balls occasionally get pinged about. And do you know what? I'm all for it because it works really well. In transition, we've got counter press, counter, distribute to the center backs and take short goal kicks you could distribute to the full backs but sometimes i just like going to the center backs it's a little bit more safer they're not as of much of a risky pass as the center backs obviously are a lot closer now going over to the out of possession we've actually opted for a higher defensive line because this was really the, the reason why we were able to score so many goals and to be honest we weren't too defensively vulnerable on any of the tests either so for some reason this worked really really well now you could go with a standard line but obviously if you do wish to do this you are going to be a little bit more defensively solid but you're not going to score as many goals so i'll leave that guy or that decision up to you trigger press is going to be set to much more often with prevent short goalkeeper distribution obviously this is quite an intense tactic to use a lot of pressing a lot of work rate going in so be sure to have a good squad depth and rotate players if and when you can now going over to the player roles we're going to have a goalkeeper on defend nice and simple no instructions we're then have a fullback on the right on support and he is going to be told to cross more often get the crosses aimed at the center dribble less run wide get further forwards and also stay wider and on the left back it's going to be a little bit different it's also going to be a full back on support on cross more often run wide shoot less often get further forwards and also stay wider full backs playing a very crucial part of this tactic two ball playing defenders now on the left hand side we've got shoot less often ball playing defender on defend and on the right another ball playing defender on defend on simply dribble more just allowing one of them to be a little bit more confident on the ball dribble more may possibly have a little bit of a drive was really good to see and a lot of fun to play with and you never really were over committing your players too much so i would recommend going with that one we then go over to a deep line playmaker my favorite defensive role in this game as you probably figured out and um, that is going to be on support on dribble less then obviously the two metzalas the one on the left is going to be on support on shoot less often and the rest of the default instructions then on the right a metzala on attack on dribble more and shoot less often now if you're wondering why they're on shoot less often i don't really focus on the midfield players getting the goals they're more the creative element of the team feeding the wingers keeping the ball you know maintaining the ball basically and i didn't really want them having crack shots here there and everywhere so in my opinion i wouldn't do that unless you've got an incredible metzala with ridiculous finishing then you could obviously switch it but in my opinion i'll stick to the way it is then on the left hand side we've got an inverted winger on attack on tackle harder and on the right an inverted winger on stay wider and tackle harder and up front, the advanced forward on pass at shorter and on attack. Our position instructions, we've actually got a few now. And these are going to be on the positions. And they're going to be set to the goalkeeper, obviously the right back, the centre backs, etc, etc, on the trigger press. Hence why we've also got tackle harder on. We want to be aggressive in their face on that back line and cause a lot of issues. And that is exactly why we've also opted to have some opposition instructions because it just makes them really, really nervous at the back line. And if you've got players that can play that role comfortably, it works even more sweet. So that is going to be the default, obviously, Metzala magic tactic. Now we are going to go over the attack and variant and the defensive variant. So let's do that right now. So the attack and variant is going to look a little bit like this. So as you can see, it's very, very similar. The only thing that changes is the Metzala actually does go up to an attack and roll in terms of the player roles to match the second Metzala. So that's the only position change because this tactic is already very attacking. Now, some of the actual team instructions, obviously mentality goes to attacking in possession going to be seeing the be more expressive come into play obviously a lot of the stuff is going to be quite similar because as i mentioned this tactic is already very very attacking but there are a few things you can tweak so in transition we've got to distribute quickly on just to get things thrown out really really quickly get the play moving a lot quicker than what usually would be and out of possession now i'm gonna i'm gonna be honest you could go with a much higher line but you are going to be vulnerable at the back so the reason why i've not downloaded that or let you guys download that variant is because i don't want you guys to go into a game and concede 20. um if you are chasing a game desperately last 10 minutes you need a goal go for the much higher line because you will absolutely fly at them you'll be in their face and it will be difficult to defend against but i would not recommend going into games with a much higher defensive line 
little refresher this is the default one going over to what is going to be the defensive variant this is going to be quite a few changes so both metzala's dropped to supportive roles the actual player instructions stay the same the inverted wingers drop back to support as well because then they're not going to be over committers and you still have enough players to you know sort of hit on the break if needed and you're not too stagnant like if i was to drop these players back here it would just be really negative and sort of over defensive in possession we've actually gone with lower in the tempo a little bit because we just want to take off the gas a little bit sit back a little bit not be as aggressive lunge into challenges hence why you also have obviously seen the be more expressive been taken off from the previous one going over to the in transition we've actually opted to slow the pace down because we don't really want to you know hit teams on the break too quickly now this is the tactic you use if you're a goal up or you're nervous against going against like a top team um if you are going into a game with this by the way don't have slow pace down on only have this on if you're sealing out a game defending out a game and out of possession we've actually turned the trigger press down a little bit to more often and we've lowered the line to standard just so you're not as attacking as free flowing as aggressive and that is going to be all three variants of the Metzala Magic um, tactic broken down. A tactic which I had a lot of fun making and a lot more fun naming. What an absolute name. Let me know what you think of the name in the comments. I personally think it's great. But if you guys have enjoyed today's video, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you boys on Tuesday with a whole week of tactic videos.